I'll leave you to rest for the time being. You must have a lot of work to do. You know, the takeover of the factory is very good news for us here. It would make us very happy to see life return to our valley. If only you had seen Valadilen before. It was delightful. People came from all over the world to buy Vorlberg automatons. Ah, somebody has left you some mail, I see. Remember, if you need anything at all, we're not far away, Miss Walker. Thank you. Well, we've learned something. We know that we are here on business, trying to take over the, or buy the Vorlberg factory. Except the only owner of it is now dead. So that will probably complicate matters a bit. Check our mail. to Kate Walker from Edward Marson from Marson and Lawman Associates. Dear Kate, our client, the Universal Toy Company, is more than eager to see conclusions from the talks with Vorlberg Manufacturing with view to a takeover in the days to come and we have received notification to this effect. We are counting on your undoubted qualities as a business lawyer to bring negotiations with Madame Anne Vorlberg, the current owner, to a close. Allow me to remind you that the Universal Toy Company is a multinational which has a mon monopoly on the toy market. It is a Class A priority client who is also presenting Madame Vorlberg with a golden opportunity to sell her factory. You should remind her of this fact in case she starts having last minute second thoughts before signing the purchase agreement. I am under no doubt that you will live up to the great expectations I have in you. Edward Marson. Well, I nice. should tell Marson about the death of Miss Varlberg. I hope this isn't going to get too complicated. I can't see myself staying here too long. All right. Do we have a phone? We do have a phone. Cool. <laughs> An old one. See if we can call the office, I guess. Marson and Lawmont, how can I help you? Can you put me through to Mr. Marson, please? It's Kate Walker. Hold the line, please. Hello, Kate. So tell me, how's the case going? I've just got to Valady Len, and there's a slight problem, Mr. Marson, I'm afraid. Mrs. Vorlberg is dead. Ah, that's most unfortunate. But I seem to remember we made provisions for just such a sad eventuality, and we know that there was no heir. Yes, that's right, but... So where's the problem, Kate? Contact the notary right away. I'll get my secretary to fax you his address and an introduction letter from the firm. Very good, Mr. Marson. Right. I gotta go, Kate. Keep me up to date, okay? I just... <sighs> right. So the boss is informed, the lady has sadly passed away, and is there anything else? Dialogue, okay. ask about our mission, Let's see what we have here, that's, okay, that's just our inventory which apparently is in our jacket. Right. Hmm. Maybe we got the facts already. I'm back again. Miss Walker? Um. Yeah, who was that kid? Who was the boy who was drawing here earlier? Is he your son? Heaven forbid, no, no, not at all. <laughs> He's not a bad boy, no. Momo is just a little simple, that's all. What is his connection with Anna Varlberg? Momo is what you'd call the village idiot, and Anna took him under her wing. He must have reminded her of her younger brother, no doubt. And uh, birds of a feather stick together, don't they? 
You're implying that Anna Vorlberg was a little bit slow as well? Heaven forbid. No, no, not at all. She was a real loner. She kept to herself. That's all. Okay. Uh, so who's Hans? The young boy who was here earlier talked about uh, uh, Hans. Uh, who is Hans? Uh, Momo was talking about Hans Vorlberg, Anna's younger brother. But he died a long time ago. Nobody here even met him. Hmm, that's intriguing. Uh, tell me about these automatons you're so proud of. I just love all these little mechanical robots. I've noticed there are tons of them here in Valadilen. Be careful what you say. Vorlberg automatons are not robots. If you want people to like you here, never ever pronounce the word robot. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the difference between an automaton and a robot, then? <laughs> uh, well, to tell you the truth, no one really knows. Well, robot means slave. Uh, do I need help with it? No, I just need my fax. A fax didn't arrive for me, did it? Maybe. I thought I heard the phone ring. Do you think you might want to go and check? Certainly, ma'am. Immediately. Thank you very much. Just under his desk. Okay, new fax. To Maître Alfortère from Edward Marsden. Dear Maître Alfortère, as you are no doubt aware, our practice is charged with undertaking negotiations for the takeover of the Vorlberg manufacturing by our client, the Universal Toy Company. It is with great sadness that we learn of the recent death of the manager and owner of the factory, Madame Vorlberg, with whom no negotiations had started. We are under no doubt that Madame Vorlberg left you instructions before her death, enabling this sale to be concluded. We should remind you of the significant boost the arrival of the American multinational would bring to the economy of your region. It is for this reason that I am sure you will give our representative, Miss Kate Walker, a warm welcome. Yours faithfully, Edward Marson. Thank you. At your service. Cool. Uh, can you tell us where the notary is? I think I'm going to need your help again. Are you leaving already, Miss Walker? Should we bring down your luggage? No, no, I'm not leaving yet. It's just that... We would love to help, but just think what would happen if the telephone rang, or, or if a fax arrived. God forbid. Or if a customer came through the door. We don't have five minutes rest here. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. No biggie. Yes, I can tell that this hotel is... I'm gonna go look around Valady Lane. Busy. See you later. As you like, miss. Super busy. Did we get a note with the... Didn't he say he'd get us the address? Is it... Oh. Is it on there? Tick. No. He lied. That's our boss. Anyway, let's go outside. It's not raining, I think. <laughs> 